Issue number six, we're going to talk about Marvel, and it's A-N-M-N, -N, it's I-N-H, it's A-U, and it's dot now. A bit confusing? Could be. So what did they do? They put out these for us to try to make sense of it. And I am here to try to make sense for you. First, I always like to go over corrections and long-standing questions, which I call LSQs. Uh, in terms of corrections, I really don't have that much because last issue was about corrections. However, I do want to bring out two Image Comics that uh, from the Image Expo that I did not go over. This is uh, Image Expo exclusive. As well as profit issue number 42. And uh, unless you're a contrarian, I don't really know why someone would like this or the art. So I guess there's a question for you. Uh, any uh, profit lovers out there, let me know what I'm missing. Um, and I think it was issue four. There we go. We got Bloodshot. The hardcover, deluxe edition. It's coming out in March. That's it for corrections. On to long-standing questions. Do we agree that the cave girl, Pandora, was in Earth 3? Because of what the outsider said? I believe so. What do you guys think? And the oldest lesson of all. In Avengers 22, when Thor says the oldest lesson of all. Where was the first time he said it? And the answer being a good lashing or a good beating. Can't, can't find that in my head, nor in going through my stuff. So, now let's get into uh, a prize question. Get these sent to your local comic store. If you can tell me why Hyperion said to Corvus Glaive, consider it a gift then. On to, on to this issue. Um, as I said, Marvel gives us these. I'd have to say this one was one of the best in terms of the yellow border that they had. It was a 10 part series but with multiple uh, titles. And it was very succinct. We could order it very well. Um, Cataclysm was a little bit confusing for me so I decided just to go to the TPBs whenever they come out. Infinity, they did their best job when it came to tie-ins, though there's a lot more tie-ins than you see here. Um, Arms of the Octopus, three different titles, but easy enough to uh, collect, read, and, and put in your short or long box. But coming to these, this is when uh, I really got to ask myself a couple of things. So the dot now is where you're supposed to jump in if you, if you haven't been reading uh, Marvel now which was to compete against the DC New 52. So it was just relaunches, you know, people like me just getting in New 52, and Marvel Now was right when I started uh, reading comics, last January 2013. So now they're going to do it again, and you have like a number one, but it's also like issue 24. So they're trying to get more people in without really having to reboot a title. It's the same title, but they have a dot now after it, or do they, or an inhuman dot I-N-H, or do they? So, let me go through some of these. Let us start off with Inhumanity, which is right after Infinity. Inhumanity, and you'll see on the top you have Inhumanity number one, and the Awakening one of two, but on the bottom here, you'll see all these dot I-N-H's. So, let me go through those for you. Inhumanity, Mighty Avengers number four, dot I-N-H. You will see there is no dot INH here, but an inhumanity up here. Okay, fair enough. I see the inhumanity. Let's move on. New Avengers, number 13, dot INH. Does not have the dot INH, but has the inhumanity up top. Indestructible Hulk, dot INH, does have the dot INH. Avengers Assemble, 22 INH, does not have the INH. Avengers Assemble 22.INH does have the dot INH. Now, 
Am I sniping here? Am I sharpshooting? No, because it's confusing. Why? Uncanny Avengers, number eight. Do you remember these? Uncanny Avengers, number eight, AU. Got another one for you. Here's Superior Spider-Man, number six. Here's Superior Spider-Man 6 AU, which is Age of Ultron. So my question is, is there going to be another one that's a dot INH? Because this is a 4 in humanity, but is there going to be another one that's dot INH? I don't think so, but I think the Age of Ultron is what really made it so I was confused because I knew that there was two issue 8s and two issue 6s, etc. for the tie-ins. Now let's move on to Dot Now. Avengers number 24, Dot Now. Does it have a Dot Now? You'll have all new X-Men, Dot Now. Guardians of the Galaxy, Dot Now. I do believe each one will have a Dot Now, and that means jump in as well as a number one up in the corner. Let's start going through some titles. This is going to be all Marvel. Issue number seven is going to be all DC. It's going to be really, really fun. I'm trying to trying to make sure that everyone understands all the different tie-ins as well as what's happening in Forever Evil, but right now it's going to be all Marvel. First, I'd like to go with uh, <coughs> Origins of Wolverine, back to the Bone Claws, you see right here, Bone Claws. Um, as an animal lover, I have certain feelings of this, uh, but this is really about pacing, the art is beautiful, um, excuse the pronunciation, Chiron Gillen? Chiron Gillen. Well, I know him from Iron Man. I'm still a little ticked. Issue 17 and, and what he did there. Uh, but he seems to be reading, uh, writing a lot of titles. So let's, let's continue to read Origins. Again, the art, very beautiful. And that's why I lead into this one. Andy Diggle. Now, you remember, Andy Diggle was doing action comics, I believe it was 1920 or 20 and 21, had little differences with DC, went over to Marvel and did this. At the same time, Rick Remender was doing uh, Captain America, and I wasn't digging the Dimension Z and the art, etc. So this, my friends, this TPB will sell well. This is four out of four. Granted, the dialogue is a little Voltron-esque, okay? You know? Save the day short da, 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 type of dialogue, but the artwork is beautiful. When it comes to the spectrum of whether it's reading and watching, this has a lot of watching. Stories by Diggle, the script is by Diggle, and even they even say it's an illustrator, this Augustin Alessio. It's so beautiful. It's just wonderful, wonderful, wonderful art. I really recommend it. Um, and uh, I want to show you the panel that has no text, okay? It's absolutely beautiful. In five seconds, five, four, three, two, one. It's about the shield. That's why I think I love this so much. Diggle really brings out Captain America's shield and what it can do, what it does. Um, <laughs> this is when he's retreat. Oops, that's actually a dialogue. Hold on two seconds. Here it is. That's actually what I wanted to show. I really want you to pay attention to the hand in the bottom left hand corner. See that hand? And then see the onomatopoeia? That's wonderful. I really think that the TPB is going to sell well. This is four out of four. Andy Diggles uh, moving from DC to Marvel. Captain America Living Legend. Again, I, I think the TPB is going to sell very well. But on to the Captain America title. Still by uh, Rick Remender. Finally, I almost dropped this. Um, he's also doing, he's at the Image Expo, he's doing the Black Science, which is very much like Dimensions. He has a lot of family values in it and sort of this weird, far off uh, dimension popping family. Um, he's an accomplished author, many titles, um, but this particular one in the name of America, it, it has a political slant. So, number 14 gets gets a thumbs up. God, 
don't want to give reviews. Let me just say that this has a lot of political influences, political slants, and uh, that's, um, that to me is worth reading. To finish off the infinity, we have the end of Heist, where one of the criminals discovers he's an inhuman, and because of that, he has a lot of good that ends up happening. Less criminal in him, and now he's an inhuman, he wants to do more good, and that would be Blizzard. Not to be confused with the newly released Blizzard of Earth 199999 in the TV show, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., okay, Donnie Gill, I believe. It's going to be a different blizzard. Obviously, he's an inhuman. Unless they're going to make the blizzard of 199999, Earth 1999. <laughs> An inhuman, too. Wouldn't that be nice? Get some inhumans in the, in the Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. TV show. Two different Earths. Um, talked about these before. Kent, right? Yeah, Matt Kent. Um, it's a continuation of Infinity is the Hunt. It has sibling woes, it has social media, with support groups. I, I thought it was laborious. I mean, the delivery is laborious because it has, you know, thumbs ups and thumbs down and how many people, and there's a tweet thing up at the top, and there's, like, Instagram, Facebook, likes and dislikes. Um, but it's going to be continued in Avengers Undercover. A little side note, I thought Metal was dead from the Avengers Arena. He's flipping hamburgers in these. Um read this at your own peril so let's talk about the new avengers 13 dot inh without the dot inh okay it's, a, it's going back to the incursions like the original new avengers titles were my ar marvel ar i don't know if those, that stuff is working for you it's not working for me and when it does work i'm not enjoying it this is when you put your cell phone to it and it like loads up a... what are your thoughts about marvel ar comment Blah. uh i do want to point out that they introduce another earth to 3099 versus the normal 616 um and there reed richards of fantastic four is saying the same thing as number one issue of new avengers i think that's sort of neat you know two different worlds parallel universes not even parallels but it, he's saying the same exact things that all things die and that's in the beginning of New Avengers number one. Okay? Why did I bring out New Avengers number three? Well, first I want to point out we all love Velvet. Velvet is taking the world by storm, let's just say. And guess what? That's Steve Epting up there. This is New Avengers number three, Marvel Now. See, so remember Marvel Now? Now they're going to have all new Marvel Now. Don't get confused. <laughs> so this is, uh, you know, this is when the Infinity Gauntlet um, was uh, taken care of. Actually, I should say, what is the most recent information of the Infinity Gauntlet? You find it in New Avengers number three. And this is when Captain America has a different opinion of what the Illuminati should do. So, the reason why I bring that up is because in the New Avengers 13, no, God bless it, it is this one. So now they're starting, remember how I said the number one is up here, and there's a dot now, so this is a jumping on point for the Avengers title, and when they say previously in Avengers in this title, in the beginning, previously in Avengers, it's not, it's actually in New Avengers. Take note. So when it says previously in Avengers, it's previously in New Avengers number three, when they talk about Captain America and the Illuminati. All right? Um, this is a self-contained story, and uh, I think it's very funny because um, I could do this as a little trivia question, but no one seems to be answering. Anyway, what defeated Thor? What defeated Thor? A lobster. How about this? You get to know what Thor feels about hot dogs in this one. We'll put that as trivia. <laughs> Moving on to this all new Marvel Now, all new Marvel Now, A N M H versus dot I N H versus dot N, -N O W. Um, this is uh, retconning the Canada New Avengers issue. 
And I do find it um, interesting that it starts off with uh, the world is ours. And that is so very much a DC thing and forever evil. And here they say world is ours. Also, it says Madripoor is burning. That will be um, that will be important in a little bit. Madripoor is burning. That that starts in here. And um, the reason why I like this is, is when they say Avengers World, there is a lot of world involvement in this. It's all around the world. So I'm very excited about. It. Uh, so now. What do we do? We have point one, right? One without the dot now, but we have the all new Marvel now here. It's a compilation. Um, it referenced uh, Avengers number 11 and um, six different titles in here. Good to get to see which ones you want in the A-N-M-N. A-N-M-N. I don't remember. Left to right for you guys. Uncanny X-Men. Number 16. This is all about Madripoor. Again, that last one, Madripoor is burning. This is about Madripoor. It's not burning, by the way. Well, nah, it's not really burning. Not, not like that other one. Um, this is great for Magneto, and it goes into uh, Magneto number one that's coming out. Um, also, it would seem like someone may be dead in this, but I'm starting to learn that, you know, a knife through you doesn't mean that you're dead. At least in the comic verse. All new X-Men. This has been the action title for a while about the purifiers who sort of like God hell bent against uh, mutants. And uh, let me just say the paradox. They really use the paradox to get themselves out of a bind here in terms of the writing. Uh, that's uh, Brian Michael Bendis. And he really did use the paradox to get out of what happened in issue 20. Issue 22 will be a dot now, so that's a jumping on point. Um, Guardians of the Galaxy 10, again, Brian Michael Bendis and uh, Angela, which was an image and was part of a Neil Gaiman suit of who owns it. Remember, image is a creator owned and Marvel has 100% of it now. So you're going to see a lot of this young lady. I do want to point out a little bit of a sharpshoot snipe here. In the back, it says Nova number... 11, 5, 4, 3, Nova number 9, Nova number 9, Nova number 11, 9, 11, don't get confused with they think, uh, well, pretty much I think they meant uh, Nova 11, which is fun, moving into Nova right now, which I think is the Nova Corps is the analog to DC's Green Lantern Corps, but he's pretty much the only one that's far as this particular title goes. Um, Jeff Loeb, that is really in charge of the TV stuff over at um, Marvel, and also did some of the scripting for the last Thor movie. He did 1 through 5, and Zeb Wells did 6 through 10, so now we have Jerry Duggan, Duggan, Jerry Duggan, and to me, this is the current Spider-Man, I believe. It's uh, this is a young kid in high school dealing with all of the things of moms and, and not being at school. That's very much Peter Parker, Spider-Man. Um, but obviously now it's Superior Spider-Man that's sort of gone away. So they sort of put that into Nova. Keep that in mind. If you want that sort of young kid with powers and dealing with the struggles of being a youth, Nova's your title. And uh, he may not be the last Nova. A little side note, I have been to Carefree, Arizona for work dealing with auto finance. So I also have Nova 12 here, because I was so backed up. Nova 12, um, I love the Nova Mobile, huge spaceship. Um, he sort of helped them with no due diligence, and you know he has this Nova map and sort of telling them where all the different Novas are, whether dead or maybe alive, we don't know. So this is continued in 13 dot now, which means it's a good uh, jumping off point, and a little wet your whistle, uh, Beta Ray Bill coming. Now that Jerry Dugan guy also did this. It was my very first Deadpool. Put this up. What a fun character. You got to ride him with a lot of uh, humor, slapstick, man with the mouth. And this is to uh, show off the uh, digital inf infinite. Infinite. <laughs> so you have the A-N-M-H and I-N-H. And, well, now they have the infinite stuff. And if... Uh, Infinite means that you uh, go online and watch it online. And I think there's moving things and music here. There's a couple of pages here that has music, so maybe there's actual song there. I don't know. 
Chiron Gillen Gillen? Mandarin Rings. I've never heard of Mandarin Rings. Again, I'm a new blur. It's only been a year. I don't know about Mandarin Rings. Uh, they're trying to build this, you know, Iron Man Metropolis type thing. Again, uh, after issue 17, I'm still sort of ticked about the whole Iron Man thing. Moving on to the final conclusion of Malekith. Accursed, right? Yeah, the Accursed. I don't think we were supposed to like the ending. Nope. Who would like that ending? But that's sort of the point. So we didn't like the ending. I don't want to give any spoilers there. Uh, but that's the conclusion. I'll be very much looking forward to the next story arc. I think I've said that before. Phantom X, four out of four. You got French, German, and English in here. I don't know if I'm supposed to like put that in and get the translation. I, I do like that, how they're putting other languages in there. What a weird title. Um, I don't know who Phantom X is, being a noobler. Um, just weird stuff going on there. I feel like the sort of surreal, but almost punky. Uh, four out of four on Phantom X. Lastly, I had to get this TPB. It, it collects uh, the all new X Men one through five. It's it's just uh, it's the beginning of the whole trans temporal stuff, and uh, I had to get it so I could refer to it, put it on the shelf. That's why I buy my TPBs, the good ones I want to keep. But I want to leave the end of this vlog about Bobby quotes Iceman either in today's world or the one from yesterday's past. Um, <laughs> I want you to write your favorite Bobby quote below this. I'm going to read this one. you got, uh, I can't believe Magneto was hugging him. Cyclops is a expletive. And Magneto is a coward. This is our future, says Bobby. I told, I told you we should have never come here. He threw a bicycle at me. <laughs> I just... He threw a bicycle at me. Sure, there's plenty other ones. Um, it's... Uh, I, I, I love it. Um, I would like you to put your own in there. Um, Uncanny Avengers Mimic. Yeah, that doesn't make sense here. Uncanny Avengers. God, I hate to leave on something like that. I want you to leave... Uh, Bobby quotes for me, please. Um, oh, I do know what that means. <laughs> the un there is in Uncanny Avengers. I'm pretty sure it is Bobby. Please answer this for me. In Uncanny Avengers, you have Captain America like talking to Havoc over here, right? And it's like far, far in the distance over there. And then you have Bobby and someone else talking like, yeah, now he's going to say this. Now he's going to say that. And they're actually doing that. That's genius. That's really, really funny. That's another Bobby quote. Um, God, I need to find that Uncanny Avengers uh, issue. If, you, if someone out there knows it, give it to me because I want to look it up again. Thank you again for watching. I'm not doing YouTube uh, and I'm not doing Facebook likes on this. I have enough Facebook pages in terms of music and Kung Fu and all that stuff. Um, so it's all YouTube. Go to the discussion. Please comment. I really love your comments and stay tuned for the all DC Trinity Ward of Forever Evil and the tie-ins and everything. Thank you very much for listening and watching.